Hello Internet, I am Mihai. It is the 8th episode of the Jenkins Pipeline tutorial. In this video I will run the Hello World Jenkins Pipeline from GitHub. The plan is to create a new Jenkins Pipeline, to create a new repository to store Jenkins files, to create a GitHub token, to fetch the pipeline code from GitHub and run the pipeline. Let's start the Jenkins server. Open VirtualBox and select our server. Start it headless. Wait 2 minutes. The server should be running now. Open the terminal and connect to your server. Write SSH, your username, add your IP, press enter, write the password, and I am connected. I want to check Jenkins service status. Write system CTL status Jenkins service. Enter. I see the server is running. Press Q to exit the view. Open the browser. Go to Jenkins page. It is your IP and port number. Write the username. Write your password and click sign in. I am logged in. Now I want to save the systemctl command. Open VS Code. Open utils.md file. Create a new block. Hashtag systemctl service. Create the sh block. And copy the systemctl command from the terminal. Copy, past, save the file, check the preview, I click open preview, everything is ok, close the preview, go to git changes, check the changes, I see that I added several lines, apply the changes, and write the commit message. Edit system ctl command. Commit. Now push. Open the browser. Click on new item. And write the name hello world repository Pipeline. Select Pipeline. Click OK. The pipeline is created. Scroll down to Pipeline Definition. Select Pipeline Script from SCM. Select Git. And for now it is all. Now I want to create a repository. Apply the changes. Open IntelliJ or any other editor. It doesn't matter. I opened IntelliJ and I select new project. I select empty project. I have to select project location. I will create here a new folder. It is pipeline. I select the folder pipeline and click OK. For project name I also write pipeline and it is all. Click finish. The project was created. Create a new directory Jenkins files. Create a new file hello world Jenkins file. Go to the old pipeline. Go to configuration. Copy the entire pipeline code and paste it in the new created file. 
save it. Now I want to add some new log. Edit the hello world line. I will replace it with hello from GitHub. And I want to add some new log. I write echo u r dollar sign curly brackets params dot age space years old semicolon save the file. Now go to Jenkins and create the pipeline parameters. Open the new pipeline. Go to configure. Select this project is parameterized. Add parameter string. Open IntelliJ. Copy the parameter name. Past it. Trim the string. Add the second parameter. It is age. Past it, trim it, and apply the changes. Now I need a repository to get the code from. Go to GitHub, copy the name of configuration repository, I will need it later. Click on New, pass the copy at name, remove configuration and the right pipeline. Select private. At the end of the video, I will make the repository public. I need it private now because I want to show you how to use GitHub tokens in Jenkins. No readme file, no git ignore. Click create repository. The repository is created. Let's connect to it. Go to the folder where project is stored. I mean this path. I already have it opened. It is here. Open the terminal here. Make sure the path is correct. On Windows you write dir, but on Linux or Mac you write print working directory, pwd. And it is my path and I know it is correct on my computer. Go to GitHub, select HTTPS or SSH. I already have SSH keys configured, so I select SSH. If you cannot use SSH, then select HTTPS. Copy the git init command. Past it. The repository has been initiated, write git status. It listed the files I want to add to the repository. I don't want to add the idea folder and pipeline.iml file. They are IntelliJ configuration files. I want to ignore them. Open IntelliJ and create git ignore file. and write the paths to the folders I want to ignore. The first folder is idea. The second file is pipeline.iml. Save git ignore. Go back to the terminal. Write again git status. And I see that I have created a new file gitignore. I have some changes in gitignore, but I don't have the idea and pipeline IML files. It means gitignore works. Let's add the changes to the stage. Git add gitignore, git add Jenkins files, hello world Jenkins file. Check git status again. And I see the files are ready to be committed. Go to GitHub. Copy the git commit command. 
paste it in the terminal, check git status. I am on master branch and nothing to be committed. Clear the terminal. Go to GitHub, copy the rename command, paste it. Now the branch name is main. Go to GitHub and copy the remote command. Now try to push. Copy the last command, paste it, enter. And my changes were pushed to GitHub. Go to GitHub, refresh the page, and I see here my Jenkins file. Now it is time for Jenkins to fetch the Jenkins file and execute it. Go to Jenkins. In pipeline definition, I need to write the repository URL. So go back to GitHub. Copy the HTTPS URL, past it, and I got a long error. I need somehow to authenticate to GitHub. For this, I will create a GitHub token. But first, I will create a Jenkins credential. Go to dashboard, open Manage Jenkins, go to Manage Credentials. Go to System, Global, click Add Credentials, select Username with Password, Scope is Global. For Username, copy the value from the GitHub URL. In my case, it is Domnemihai. Copy, Past, treat Username as Secret. Leave the password empty and the ID is github token dash one. Click create. Very good. Go to github, go to profile settings, scroll down and select developer settings. Select Personal Access Tokens, Generate New Token, the node is Jenkins Pipeline Tutorial, select the expiration date, I will select 7 days, and select Full Control of Private Repositories. Scroll down and select Generate Token. Very good, the token is created and it is the token. I will show it to you, but you should remember to not show it to anyone else. Only you should know it. Copy the token, go to Jenkins credentials, update the credential, change the password, delete the old value, and paste here the token. Click Save. Very good. The password was added to Jenkins. Go to Pipeline Configuration. Refresh the page. I need to pass the URL again. Go to GitHub and copy it. Copy the HTTPS URL. Paste it. And for credentials, select GitHub token 1. And the token worked. Jenkins can connect to GitHub. For branch, write main. And now write the path to your Jenkins file. Go to IntelliJ. Right click on your file. Copy path from repository root. Past it. Select lightweight checkout and apply. Close the credentials tab. Open the pipeline in a new tab. 
click build with parameters. Your epic name, write Ivan, age 25. Click build. Wait three seconds. Go to logs. And let's read them. I have Jenkins file obtained from GitHub. Here is the URL. Also, I used GitHub token one. Scroll down and I have the log hello from GitHub. It is it. And I have the log that the name was Ivan and Ivan is 25 years old. Now I want to make the repository public. Go to GitHub, go to repository settings, scroll down, change visibility, select public, apply. You see the small tag? The repository is public now. Let's test it. Go to pipeline configuration, select credentials as none, apply the changes, refresh the page. I reassured Jenkins is using no credentials. Now let's run the pipeline. Build with parameters. Epic name is Igor. Age is 87. Build. Open the logs. I see the Jenkins file was obtained from GitHub. I see that no credentials were specified. Scroll down. I see the log hello from GitHub and greetings for Igor. He is 87 years old. So guys, if your repository is private, you need a token, an SSH key or some other credentials to authenticate to GitHub and fetch your code. But if the repository is public, you need no credentials. Just pass the URL to your repository and clone the repository. It is all. Thank you for watching.